Hi, my name is Alex. I'm Samuel. And today we're going to be showing you how to set the valve lash on this O290 light coin. Tools that you will need when setting valve lash. Here is a 3 8 inch ratchet. And here's a special valve lash clearance tool. Um, it's a 3 quarter inch socket welded on top of another one. And it has an integrated screwdriver. And what you do is you have this on this side and you can use it to turn and tighten the nuts that you'll be tightening. Okay, so to start off with the valve lash, go to cylinder one, which is right here, it's on the, it's on the crankcase, and you have to turn the motor, or the, turn the engine to where the piston's at top dead center. So what I'm doing here is I have, I'm using my pinky, and I'm right here in the, where the spark plug goes, and if you look, actually, you can actually see, I don't know if you can catch it on camera, but you actually see the top of the pistons right there. That's the top of the piston. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling and turning the engine at the same time, and I'm feeling the piston as it travels inside the cylinder head. And right about there is top dead center. And I know this because both of these valves are seated. And during the compression stroke, both this valve seat. So that's where you want to start when setting valve lash. For setting valve lash, you have to load the cam on one side, the opposite side of cylinder one. So this is cylinders two and four. And what you have to do is you set these rocker arms right here to zero clearance. And what that means is these are going to be touching. There's not going to be any clearance between the rocker arm touching the top of the valve. So the way you do that is by setting these guys. So what you do is I have my tool right here. And with the screwdriver portion, I'm going to put it right there and screw it in. And slowly you can see the rocker arm about to meet the valve. And as soon as it touches, which is right about there, then you want to lock it down with the nut right here. So finger tighten it until it's snug. And get your 3 8 quarter right there. And set that. You set that. Now that's set at zero clearance, with, so that's loaded. And we gotta load the top one. Switch. So this one, start tightening it. So it touches. So right there, it's touching. Put this down to lock it down. Okay, now we'll keep moving up. So these are loaded, now we're gonna load these ones. So this one needs to be loaded. So screw it down until it touches, which is right about there. And you'll feel it, this will get stuck, get harder to spin. And then, lock that one down. Let me turn it first. Lock that down. And I believe this one's already loaded, so I'll just go ahead and lock this one down. Can't get to it. That's locked down. Now I'm going to the next step. Loaded the other side of the, of the engine, so cylinders two and four are preloaded. We're going to go back to cylinder one and set the lash now. So what you want to do is come down here. So, this one I already set previously, so the, the lash is set right there, so I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. So this is, um, you want to use the feeler gauge. Now the manual says that you can do it anywhere between 7 and 9 thousandths of an inch. So we're going to have it at 8, so right in the middle. So, this already set, so I'm going to show you how I set that by with using this one. So I used my tool, and I undid this one right here. I loosened the lock nut, so now this can move. So screw this back down to where it meets, right about, right about there, lock it down, and now you get your tool, and snug it down. Now it's snug down, and you want to check it. Okay, go. So I got my feeler gauge of eight thousandths right here, now tighten this one down here over here and then we'll check it and that's pretty good that's a pretty good fit right there and that's basically the gist of how you adjust the valve lash and what you do is you repeat that for the remaining cylinders uh, two three and four now you want to make sure before you start doing the adjusting the valve lash is that all the cylinders are at top dead center when you're adjusting the valve lash and that pretty much sums it up
much the gist of how to set Bob Flash, and I hope that this was educational and informational, and I hope you guys learned a lot from it. And I'd like to thank you for watching from Gavin College. I'm Alex. I'm